Hey guys, uh, I haven't done a live for a little while. Um, as usual, there's lots of stuff going on in my life. Um, but I just got off a uh, call um, with, off an interview call with Jacqueline from the Love Summit. So I'm really looking forward to, I'm a speaker for uh, this event online and I'm really looking forward to bring you some more information about this. Um, just really quickly, if you're interested in the Love Summit, it's going to be such epic content from um, speakers all over the world who talk about relationships and love and um, the, the focus is calling in calling in your soulmate, um, stepping into your, my talk was about stepping into your sensuality and your sexuality and letting go of shame. And, um, and it's going to, it's not going to be available online just yet, but if you'd like to know more, you can drop me an inbox, um, or join my newsletter list, my mailing list on my website, zoeswain.com. Now I want to just talk quickly because I'm already in the space of having just finished a video and um, I want to talk quickly about anxiety because um, I help a lot of people with anxiety and it really surprises me, constantly surprises me how many people have anxiety and don't know what to do about it. And I understand you don't know what to do about it. You, you don't know what you don't know. Um, but I can really, really help if you suffer anxiety or depression. Honestly, I can help you. Um, and I'm very, very confident about that. Um, in fact, I pretty much guarantee it. But I want to talk, so I'll, I'll, I'll tell you exactly how I can help you, but I want to talk a little bit about um, some tools that I, I, I kind of want to share around anxiety and just some fun tools I want to share around anxiety and then something that I believe is one of the most powerful things that I offer that can, um, can turn your anxiety or depression around. Um, so what I tend to teach a lot in my yoga classes, hey Christine, good morning. What I tend to teach a lot in my yoga classes is um, because yoga, if you've been to yoga, yoga can be quite serious and it can, um, you know, people can get caught up in this, thank you Erin, people can get caught up in this idea that, oh, we're at yoga and <laughs> that's so funny, I've just done namaste hands, Elliot's done namaste hands. Hey Kaz, um, people can get caught up in this like, you know, I'm guiding people through a vinyasa or, you know, like through a sequence of breathing and movement and they can just be like, oh my God, like life's so hard and this is, I'm struggling and, you know, ah, oh, my legs are burning. And it's like, guys, this is, I mean, first of all, what we do as yoga in, in these classes, I mean, that I teach, that everyone teaches is not the true essence of yoga essentially i teach a lot of philosophy and i really um and i really get people to like delve into their own stories of what they're telling themselves on their mats which is exactly the way that they're living their lives but i um you know essentially yoga for me a lot of the classes i go to are pretty much just fitness classes it's you know we say i'm going to go and do yoga and it's like, actually, no, you're just going to a fitness class that's called yoga. So, and not taking nothing away from these beautiful yoga teachers. It's just like, this is what we have westernized the shit out of yogic philosophy. And it's become this really kind of, you know, people say, I'm going to go and do yoga. Well, fucking do yoga in your life, man. Like, how are you being yoga? <laughs> that's not actually what I was going to say. Um, stop taking yourself... Number one tip, stop taking yourself so damn seriously. And I I take myself pretty seriously sometimes. And I'm like, oh, you know, like shit's, you know, it's hard. And <laughs> But I do this in a yoga class. Is sometimes I will bring people out of their practice a little bit, um, you know, out of their, their stories in their mind of like, Oh, I'm suffering and she's pushing me into this pose that I don't want to be in. It's like, fuck man, you're wearing your $150 tights and you've got your cute little yoga ass on your $200 mat and you're like, you are saying you're suffering? No, stop taking yourself so damn seriously. Just breathe it out and stay centered. 100%, hey Mace. Um, stop taking yourself so damn seriously. 
life is short, man. It's so short. And um, if you know me personally, you know that, yeah, I get deep and I get like right into um, some pretty like interesting topics with my friends. And we talk about stuff that people, uh, you know, don't talk about, but we also realize like, it's all just a joke anyway. Like the stories we tell ourselves are not, they're not real. You think you, you think you're talking the truth. That's not the truth because my truth's different. And if my truth's different to your truth, how is it truth? Right? So number one is stop taking yourself so damn seriously. Be more playful in life. So when something feels really like seriously hard and, oh my God, I don't think I can make it through this. Stepping back and having a look. Hey, Lisso, stepping back and having a look at yourself and being like, dude, are you for real? Are you for real thinking that this shit is hard? Are you kidding? Um, there's a, a concept or um, a word in yoga called svadhyaya, and it's basically being the witness to yourself. And it's without judgment, it's looking at the stories you're telling yourself and the beliefs you have about yourself and all of that and just looking at them and being like, ah, oh, that's interesting. You know, I hear so many people say sometimes like, oh no, I have to do it this way or I'm not the kind of person who talks about sex or, um, you know, I would never do that or, you know, whatever it is. And it's like, that's interesting that you have that story. And, you know, even when you talk about like monogamy and, um, you know, people just like, when I'm in a relationship, it's like, no, you know, I have to be with this one person. I can't even look at other people. And, and if she looks at other people, you know, I just, I can't be with her anymore. Or if she's, you know, cheats on me or whatever. And it's like, that's interesting because that's, it's not the right or the wrong way. It's just a conditioning. We all have this conditioning around our sexuality and around our spirituality and around our physicality. And our, you know, I have to look a certain way for people to love me. You don't have to look like shit for people to love you. Anyway, so Svadhyaya is this concept of stepping away from yourself and being just looking at the thoughts that you're thinking and not judging them, not saying they're right or wrong, but just looking at them. And then you can learn to either um, not fix, but you can learn to work on them or not. You can also learn to, you can also let go and not work on them and just be like, cool, you know, that's where I'm at. I believe this about myself and I know that's a story and I'm okay with that. You know, that's good too. Um, so the first one, stop taking yourself so damn seriously. The second one is um, someone said to me the other day, a good friend of mine said to me, when worries come up with for her, her saying is that worries are just dumb shit. I loved it. It's so good. Worries are just dumb shit. Why are we worrying? Like we can't control the future because it doesn't actually exist yet. We can't control the past. It's already been. Um, the only thing we can do, we can't even really control the now, but we can just be now. We can set our intentions. We can manifest the shit out of our lives. You say, I'm just, I, you know, I'm earning a hundred million dollars. I know it in my body. Um, and then you got to let it go. Cause I mean, if you just sit there and if you're just like clawing at things, trying to make a hundred million dollars, you're probably, you know, it's just like, it's like holding water in your hand and the more you grip onto it, the more it just seeps out the sides and out through the creases of your fingers. So, um, worries are just dumb shit. And I, I'm, and you know, like the videos that I do, it's not that I'm telling you how to live your life. I'm just reminding myself how to live mine. hundred <laughs> percent. Um, and the third one is, so the first one was stop taking yourself so seriously. Second one is, um, where is it is dumb shit? Third one is, and I have four total, um, tools for beating anxiety. And the fourth one is the, the fucking killer. Like it's the best one. It's the one that's going to like nail you. Um, of course. And that's why I leave it till the end. It's so ridiculous. That shits me when people do that, but I'm doing it. Um, when you're in negative thoughts, so this, I've written this down. It's kind of cool. When you're in negative thoughts, cut yourself off immediately and proceed with bitch. You don't have time for this. <laughs> I love that. So it's like, you know, that minute you're having a negative thought, just cut it off and be like, bitch, we don't have time for this. Like, what are you doing? 
So, you know, that's another thing. And like, that's another way of just being playful with yourself. Like, you know, oh, but my body is, I feel fat today, bitch. We don't have time for your nonsense. Get on with your life. Like, you know, be playful with yourself around it. But I just love that, that little analogy of like, just stop that. Come on. We got shit to do. We got awesomeness to be. Um, yeah, Erin, neat. Um, okay. So the fourth one, <clears throat> the fourth one is it's, um, it's my biggest, oh, for a man, Elliot, um, give me some suggestions. You know what? Tap into your inner woman. Bitch, we don't have time for this <laughs> because, um, <clears throat> Possibly, yeah, I mean, what else can we say for a man, for a man? Dude, you don't have to be crass about it, I guess, or like whatever it is you call yourself. Like, you know, my inner man is Zach. So, Zach, we don't have time for this, man. Like, come on. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, the fourth one, I'm going to, bra, bra, we don't have time for this. I know guys that hear that word and they're just like, ugh. Like guys that say bra, Ugh. like I don't care what it is I call my inner man. Um, daylight's burning, mate. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, stop wasting your time on these bullshit thoughts. Like, come on, get on with life. Stop taking yourself so, so damn seriously. Worries are just dumb shit. And um, bitch, we don't have time for this. You can even like click your fingers. <laughs> Fourth one is, this is how I help people cure their anxiety. Um, with the interstellar herbs. And I noticed that recently some of you have been saying to me, even my good friends or people that are kind of close to me have been like, hey, what are these herbs that you do and why don't I know about them? And I just, I I guess I am just not very, um, I'm not a sale, that's another story I'm telling myself, I'm not a salesy kind of person. Maybe I am a salesy kind of person, whatever. Um, the interstellar herbs that I do, <clears throat> that I sell, I guarantee you will cure and change your depression. I'm not going to say cure because, you know, some doctor is going to get on here and be like, ah. um, I'm going to say that you're, if you suffer anxiety or depression, interstellar herbs, I will guarantee you that you will feel an incredible, <laughs> you will feel an incredible change. So many people have got themselves off their meds because of because of the interstellar herbs. So if you go through periods of like ups and downs, you're normal. For me, I do too. And you'll see that I'm really open about that. Um, you know, uh, a couple of days ago, my little man broke his arm and I was there with him in theater and watching him go under anesthetic and it was just fucking gut wrenching. Um, but I have the tools to save myself when I, if I feel myself going into a hole, I have the tools to save myself and I'm going to share those with you now. Um, yeah, like me telling myself I'm not salesy, but I'm just about to, to bring you something that is essentially a product, right? But I'm comfortable with it because I know this shit works and I feel like if I didn't share this with you, I would be doing you a massive disservice and I'm not shitting you. I'm not shitting you. I'm not trying. I... Um, I pretty much do all of the things I do. I would do all of the things I do, even if I wanted to make, even if I didn't, even if I was a millionaire, I would still, I would still do this stuff because this stuff helps people. And all the stuff I do, sensuality, sexuality, tantra, yoga. I mean, Jesus, everyone knows yoga teachers don't make much money, but I love that stuff. I love doing it. Um, Interstellar herbs, and I'm actually just grabbed out some bags that I have in my cupboard um, for myself. These interstellar herbs are going to change your life. Um, tell us the price and where to buy these magic herbs. Okay, I'm gonna thank you, Duncan, for just pulling me up and being like, "Stop talking shit." That's the you know my femininity coming out. All right, um, you can get them on my website zoeswain.com, but the best website to get them off is my other website, which is Interstellar Australia. Dot com. So I N T E R S T E L L A R Australia.com. I was a spelling maniac at school, by the way. Um, Interstellar Australia.com. And the one that kicks, you're going to see heaps of testimonials. I even have a video on the front page to explain them all to you. It's only like 15 minutes, so you can just listen to it in your car. Um, 
the one that is going to kick anxiety and depression is called Trinity. The one that gives you motivation, force, drive, like, you know, when you see that powerhouse coming in, when you want to see that powerhouse coming out and you got shit to do, that's Nebula. Um, I also, we also have pine, pol pine pollen, incredible for testosterone, great for women who uh, need to balance their hormones or if they're um, uh, perimenopausal. Uh, Shilajit, incredible mineral for um, fighting off fatigue, especially adrenal fatigue. And I can, I can fucking totally vouch for the power of Shilajit. Um, also great for um, balancing the masculinity in men um, and women. Uh, what else? Oh, and then there's the libido blend. So if you want more like orgasmic energy, if you want to last longer as a man, there's these incredible blends. One is called Thunder, that's for the men, and one is called Neb uh, not Nebula, Niagara for the women. That shit is off the hook. You know, if your lady is like, I'm not really interested, a couple of little scoops of this stuff, it's just gonna be all over you. <laughs> Anyone who knows me personally knows that um, sexuality is, I mean, sexuality, I was just talking to this, talking about this for the last you know hour on this incredible love summit interview internationally and um, sexuality, I know we have a lot of shame around it and people are like, oh, you know, like you posted a video about sexuality or you posted a picture, you know, about, you know, and your you know, boobs are out or whatever and they get triggered by that. Sexuality is our life, man. It's our, it's the way we're born. It's like, let's go, let go of that shame. So yeah, there's, um, there's Niagara for women and, and not just for your sex, but also for your orgasmic energy in your body. So you can actually really, as a woman, feel more feminine and feel more like, mmm, yummy. <laughs> Men, thunder is super powerful. I've been, um, I've shared this stuff with, um, with men and you know, I've, I've been with men who've used it and it's pretty off the charts. Um, sometimes, very uh, too much so if a man's already quite um, sexually uh, powerful. Um, but for, for those guys just wanting a little bit extra or it's, it's like a, it's a natural Viagra, basically all of these herbs that I do are natural. They're all plant-based. Um, they're a lot of mushrooms. Um, and the cool thing is in them, and this is why I do them. I mean, you see, like you see the way that I am. I just fucking love life you know, most 99% of the time I'm like really, anyway, I'm not going to talk about myself. Um, I, uh, what did I want to say? I got totally lost on that one. Um, the 200 to one strength. So 200 to one strength is something that you will never, ever get from a naturopath or, um, you know, a health shop or anything. They're not just like, oh yeah, Zoe takes herbs. What herbs does she take so we can get the same ones? These are blends with 50 to 70 um, different plants and medicines in one. How are they drink? Okay, so they're a powder. Um, I'm just gonna open this little bag of Seven Sages. Seven Sages is incredible. It works on the neural pathway. So it's incredible for um, anxiety as well. Seven Sages, there's one different bag for each day of the week with Seven Sages. So it lasts you, you know, a monster amount of time. Um, but you put that with Trinity and you're, you're gonna be off, off charts. It's a powder. So these are um, ground down into a powder. And what you do is you you can buy one or you can buy, you know, for me, I take four or five different types every day and you get a little tiny scoop, which is one eighth of a teaspoon scoop. It's so minute. Um, and so much, such a minute amount. And, and to start with, you'll probably need more to really like get it in your body and load it up. And I always give you a loading dose instruction. Um, and what you do is you put it in your espresso or in your shot of uh, hot water. Like it doesn't really matter. It's better in coffee because it kills the taste. This stuff tastes like ass when you're not used to it. I mean, I love it now. I just dump it under my tongue and I'm good to go. I absolutely love it. Um, it tastes so good for me now, but I'm used to it. Most people are like, holy dooly. They're not used to having 50 or 70 different plants in one little tiny scoop at 200 to one strength. Um, and uh, so you just put it, you know, put these different little scoops in your coffee first thing in the morning or in your hot water first thing in the morning on an empty stomach, shove it down and nailed it, good to go. Um, 200 to one strength means that most people will feel a difference within a couple of hours. 
Some people will take as long as 10 days. Um, and I guarantee it. I guarantee it will work for you. If you follow my instructions and we get the dose right for you, I guarantee it works. Um, you know, if you're just, if you were just going to like get it and take like, you know, half of what I recommend and take it every third day, then I, I'm just going to be like, dude, you know, you got to work with me. Um, but once you get your loading dose, right, you can taper it back. Um, can you please put the link in for us? Just try to go to our website. Okay. Yeah, sure. Um, I don't really know how to do that while I'm on the call, but I promise I will do that. Kimberly, I'm going to do that as soon as we get off. So it's interstellaraustralia.com or you can get them on my website, zoeswain.com and, um, just go to the shop. And you'll, you'll shoot find the herbs there. If you have any problem with that, I need to know about it because um, I'll get my team on to sorting that out. But interstellaraustralia.com and check out the testimonials. Check out, you know, the people that um, I have the card. Oh, yay. Kaz, you have the card. Yeah. Um, what else do I want to say about that? Seven Sages is a product that's not on the site. I don't believe it's on the site. <coughs> Um, just because this is, this is pro like, these are proprietary blends. So, um, oh yay, Kimberly, you're on the website now. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, and there's a live chat function on the website. I won't be able to access it now cause it comes through to my phone, but I'm going to get off this call in a second. There's a live chat function. So if you have any questions, you just send a message. It comes straight through to me. So if I'm near the phone, I will answer you straight away. Fucking nailed it, Elliot. Thank you so much. So there's Elliot's just posted the link. Um, you can even buy, like you can buy sample packs. You can buy a little, you can buy sample packs of things. It is much cheaper per dose to buy the bigger packs. And you're looking at cost wise, if you buy sample packs, you're looking at, it's probably going to cost you about five bucks a day. Um, and if you buy the bigger packs, which you're going to want to later, um, you, it's going to be about two bucks a day. So, you know, you'll look at it and go, Oh my God, like, you like, and it's in US dollars, um, that which saves me changing the prices when the when the dollar fluctuates every freaking day with the US and Australia. This way, it's just like you know what it's. You can just work it out on your end. Like I think it's like seventy three cents or something right now, um, so that I don't have to. You know, you don't have to keep asking me how much is this going to cost me in Australian dollars. Blah blah blah. You're not losing money. I'm not losing money. It's just super simple that way. And I do free shipping all over Australia. Um, if you're in New Zealand, I can ship it to you and just give you a discount on the shipping. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. But honestly, if you want to feel fucking ace in your life, don't mess around. Like, you know, I've given you some fun tips and tools in the beginning of this video, but like this shit 100% works. And, um, that's about all I can say. You know, if you want, like life is super short to me and why would I want to not try something that could essentially make me feel a hundred percent? Why would I want, not want to do that? Um, there's also a pre-workout for those of you that like me, you know, you go to the gym, you want to burn more visceral fat. It's a natural pre-workout. It makes you feel quite warm inside. Um, it's a pretty cool product called Thermo as well, but Trinity, Nebula, those are like definitely your go-to. And if you're going to buy Trinity, make sure you buy some matcha to go with it because matcha will help to activate. Matcha is just ceremonial green tea, but it's the best grade of ceremonial green tea I've ever used in my life. Um, and you, it will help to activate the Trinity even more so. So um, I hope this has helped you. If you have any questions about how I can help you with your anxiety and depression, then go ahead and shoot me an inbox, send me a live chat on my website. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I, I really hope that this has helped those of you. And please share the video. If you have friends, you know, you can just private message it, message them. I know there's so much shame around having anxiety and depression. There fucking shouldn't be because most people have it. Um, you know, my experience is, yeah, like there's a, I know most of the people I know either have anxiety or depression and, 100% of them want to get off their meds. Um, so doors open. There you go. You're welcome to step through it. Um, 
that's about all I have to say for now. If you use the herbs and you love them and you haven't yet left a testimonial on the website, then please go ahead and do that or just inbox it to me and we can load it from our end. Um, it's always good to hear, you know, people, their experience with how it's affected them and how quickly it worked and, you know, um, the way that it, it, it's, it changes people. You know, most of you that know me closely know that my life is pretty, like the opportunities that fly into my life are off tap and the way that you know the the way yeah the way that I, I live my life is is um it's always energetic and you know there's definitely lulls there's definitely lulls but I don't set up in that shit because I have the tools these herbs especially um to just bring me back out of it to feel amazing to to look radiant to feel young to kick ass at life so um, I really hope this video has helped you. Feel free to share the shit out of it and um, hit me with some messages if you need to. Lots of love.